all right guys so we um transplanted um two uh, bell pepper plants out of that pot and move them one of them over here and you can see all the transplants live through the night we had to redo the soil in two of the boxes and make sure they had good um, drainage holes this box here you see we moved one of the bell pepper plants that has some buds on it hopefully it will survive but it seems to have made it through the night so and we put these other three that were struggling left them in this box with a uh, new soil we added regular soil and peat moss to loosen up the soil hopefully uh, that combination will work but uh, we won't know about the main box is because although we were getting flowers on most of the plants the leaves were curling up which either meant um, having six in a box was pulling too much nutrients from the soil and wasn't leaving enough for the other so that's why we removed several from this box so we'll see how they do right now um, I'm just pleased everything lasted through the night I'm out this morning or this evening we got good cloud cover and temps down low um, I pulled up several of the corn stalks that have given me pieces of corn or have given Mr. Squirrel pieces of uh, corn and are basically at their last uh, season time. You can see they were beginning to turn brown. Uh, we've still got several. Man, every now and then I'm still seeing these stupid beetles. This is an okra plant. You see the holes these beetles can do? They really can do a lot of damage. I'm going to grab him and put him in the um, bug bag. But I haven't seen any in a while, so I'm hoping that they're almost at the end of their season. Uh, today I harvested another squash from this plant. And I think we've got a few more coming in on some of the other plants. So we've been working with this squash. Squash is really picky. Just trying to make sure the leaves stay green. Don't turn yellow on you. And there's another baby squash coming in. Let's see. I don't see any on this one yet. Oh, and we got a nice one on that one. So I'm pleased with the squash. I've been fighting with the the um, boring worm <laughs> that got into that first one. And as it got in, I basically would cut off the, the stalk and pour a combination of neem oil um diatomous surf with a little dawn dishwashing liquid down inside the stem the stems would dry up and i didn't get any spread of the uh worms as far as i can tell uh the plant is still growing still populating still has like i said a few baby squash coming on it so just trying to stay ahead of it they may not look cute but as long as I got green leaves on top, I'm not too worried about these bottom ones because these have actually been some of the older ones. And I think that's just what they do once they get to a certain age. I'm not cutting them off because um, that does compromise the plant. And when I cut it off, I would need to spray my solution down in there to make sure no bugs get in. But right now, I'm just going to let them fall off when they get ready to fall off. Squash bin not squash sweet potato bean is still growing crazy <laughs> I can see all those vines 
I might need to see if um if I can grow slips from those but uh, right now they're still doing okay um, raspberry we still got green it hadn't died on us so glad glad of that broccoli still doing good ah bad news about my apples so these are called red delicious and i was hoping that we would just be waiting for them to turn red but as you can see they've already been compromised so i guess i need to just pull it on off see what was in it but i hate that and this one something's been trying to bite on there but like I told y'all, we did it a year too early anyway, so we'll just leave it be. See, I got a Brussels side Brussels shoot coming up. Looks good. We already took the crown off of there. All right, these collards need a good another good spring. Still got bugs messing around in our new collard bin um we got some black eyed pea shoots pots coming and um we're gonna this year instead of picking them when they're green we're gonna leave them on there until they turn i think they can turn a dark reddish brown the pods and then we'll see about harvesting but right now, we just got a lot of growth. I think I am still doing research to see about the, the blight. I think that's blight that's on the leaves. Or I might do a good spray of, uh, I think it's baking soda. I'm going to have to check on that. So we can get a hold to what's going on with the leaves because I don't see bugs I don't see insects that's the crazy thing more broccoli leaves over here I'm getting ready to pull up all the green beans for some reason they are just having a horrible time down here All right, we've got some more black eyed peas hanging here and here. And we got more flowers coming in, black eyed pea flowers coming in. So that is excellent. And we got some up at the top, so they should be hanging soon. On our sunflower, the head has opened up. I'm hoping since we got all these cherry tomatoes, we can get them picked and our bok choy and turnip green bean will continue to come in and do its thing. Still fighting the bugs. I'll be picking some of these cherry tomatoes today because I'm picking them while they're orange at this point so that um, the birds don't get them. And I usually can bring them in the house and set them in front of the window. And they turn red usually overnight. So going quickly. Like I said, the strawberry bean is doing good. I got a red one under there. There is one coming in. It was not as big as some of the others, but at least they're coming. I was having a problem with water, but them getting too wet, but they seem to be doing okay. I was telling y'all that the um, blueberry, this one is called the sunshine blueberry, it's got a lot of new growth, so that's a good sign. Not so many brown leaves. And the sunshine blueberry, it's got new leaves as well, but 
we still got a lot of browning so gonna have to check the alkaline levels again in the soil see if we can get that pH and whatnot balanced out I'll close this back down because I don't see any bumblebees out since it looked like it's threatening the rain.